Breaking news coming in. Sources have told Vion that China is deliberately delaying granting clearance to an Indian flight which will carry out evacuations in Wuhan. New Delhi has reacted to the delay and has asked China for a permit. Indian officials are sure that the delay is intentional. This has sources told Vion that China has been allowing other nations to evacuate their citizens from Wuhan. In fact, France was allowed to carry out rescue operations on February 20th. The day India's flight to China was scheduled to take off. According to sources, Japan and Ukraine carried out evacuations on February 16th and 17th respectively. Sources also tell us that India had requested for a third flight to Wuhan back on February 13th. It submitted the flight plan two days later, that is on February 15th. India, which has already evacuated over 600 of its citizens from Wuhan, has been ready to send another flight to rescue its remaining nationals from the coronavirus epicenter. Beijing maintains that there has been no delay, but has so far offered only vague explanations on the matter. The Chinese embassy in India has said that the prevention of coronavirus in Wuhan has entered a critical stage and that the ground situation has changed. Unlike the last time in which operations were carried out by civilian jets, this time around India is sending a military aircraft. On February 17th, New Delhi had announced that it will send the Indian Air Force's largest plane, the C-17 Globemaster, to bring back all its nationals from Wuhan. The plane will also be carrying medical supplies. The weight comes even as China said that it attached high importance to the lives and health of all foreign nationals in the country. So joining us now is Vion's diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, who will tell us more. Sidhan, tell us, what is going on? Is China doing this deliberately? Why is it not allowing India to evacuate its citizens? Well, it has become a full-blown uh, tiff between uh, Beijing and New Delhi. We know that India had requested for the third evacuation, which was to take place on 20th, that is uh, uh, earlier this week on Thursday, and the request was sent a week ago, that is on 13th of uh, this month. But uh, it seems there has been a deliberate delay. These are the words of the government sources I have been speaking to because uh, uh, the government sources pointed us that uh, from the day of Indian request till the proposed date of flight, which was uh, last Thursday, there have been three flights that have left uh, Wuhan, one for Japan, one for Ukraine, and one for France. Why is it that uh, when it comes to Indian flights, suddenly what the Chinese have been saying, because remember the Chinese have also issued a press release saying that it is uh, right now in a crucial stage of, uh, uh, of the coronavirus epidemic and that is why they can't as of now grant, but there is no uh, delay in granting. So there is some kind of subtle diplomacy taking place, some kind of tip which has uh, started uh, since yesterday because remember we on the first channel to report that uh, the, the Chinese haven't granted the... Uh, uh, clearance, uh, despite the fact that they know the flight was to leave on uh, Thursday or Friday, but do, there was no clearance. But by and large, it shows that there are uh, a little bit uh, things are not normal when it comes to India-China relationship. And for a simple thing, for a flight to be landed for the evacuation of uh, India's own citizens, China is creating some kind of uh, problem. And we all know that India is sending a relief uh, consignment to China and this was uh, this was part of India's plan to support China. The Indian Prime Minister had written to the Chinese President Xi Jinping saying that uh, we would like to help you and despite India facing its own shortages, India was keen to help China but now China it seems through its own ways is trying to create delays and saying that there is some kind of critical stage there in Wuhan and that is why they couldn't give clearance despite giving clearance to three flights to three different countries. Right. Uh, you know, there seems to be a growing mistrust with the data coming out of China, especially concerning this outbreak and now this new news of the delay. So what is China withholding from the world when it comes to information regarding coronavirus? has been very critical of anyone who has been very critical of China's handling of the situation. We know earlier this week how China, Chinese envoy in Nepal was very public in condemning a newspaper, a major newspaper, Kathmandu Post in, in Nepal about the, the developments in China and there is a secrecy surrounding what is happening inside China because uh, we all know that uh, how Chinese are handling it but there is no uh, information which is coming out of the city. What is happening? There are few visuals which have been leaked, but they have the people who have leaked it, they have now uh, disappeared. And uh, we all know that earlier this week, uh, earlier this month, in fact, uh, the, the Chinese envoy in Delhi also uh, spoke.
spoke about uh, how china is handling the entire crisis uh, but he also pointed out that uh, uh, india needs to review the travel ban travel restrictions india has imposed in a sense to china there is no official travel ban but visas are not granted to anyone coming from china to india but that is india's own measures to make sure that this is contained but china is not liking it and through subtle messaging sending messages that they are not happy with this uh, thing and that, uh, right now there is no linkages between the commercial decision of india to uh, to not give visas and of course uh, the clearance of flights but it looks like that china might like to give a spin in near future that because of the travel restrictions these delays are happening right sadhan thank you so much for those insights we'll keep coming back to you as this story develops